Governor Hogan pushing to reopen schools as key coronavirus metrics trend in the right direction. Now, though the state recorded more than 2,100 new cases in the last 24 hours, 46 more people left the hospital, and the percentage of people testing positive dropped again. Hello, I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Vic Carter. Moments ago, Governor Hogan called on schools to bring students back in some form by March. And WJC investigator Mike Halgren is live with why the governor says this will be safe. Mike? Denise Vic Hogan said simply that reopening schools will not spread the virus. He said other states have threatened teachers' jobs and certifications if they don't go back. He said he does not intend to do so. But the teachers' union, the state's largest teachers' union, just put out a statement and they said that this is not the time to point fingers and threaten educators or scare educators and move the goalposts. There is no public health reason for school boards to be keeping students out of schools. None. Strong language from Governor Larry Hogan, who wants all Maryland schools to open to at least some in-person instruction by March 1st. But if a school systems do not immediately begin a good faith effort to return to the classrooms, um, we will explore every legal avenue at our disposal. Teachers unions have urged a cautious approach and are worried about safety and the spread of COVID-19. Teachers and support staff only became eligible for vaccines this week. But Maryland, like other states, has seen vaccinations move at a frustratingly slow pace. The state says classrooms should open anyway. And I do encourage all education staff to get a vaccine when it becomes available to them. However, and I would emphasize that school reopening decisions should not be based on the availability of vaccination or the level of vaccinations among staff. Maryland is demanding at least hybrid in-person and online learning. The governor warns there are no excuses, even though he cannot force local school boards to reopen. Our children simply cannot afford any more endless roadblocks or any more moving of the goal posts. The time has come to get all of our kids back into the classrooms and to reopen our schools. And after the governor's remarks, the state school superintendent received her vaccine along with eight other educators and support staff. Reporting live, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you. The demand for the COVID-19 vaccine continues to outstrip the supply. Eligible people line up at the Timonium Fairgrounds to get their shots after registering online. For seniors who do not have internet access, you can call 311 to get assistance and to schedule an appointment. So far, nearly 295,000 doses have been administered in Maryland.